Humans adopt humans, they also adopt animals. But did you know that animals can adopt other animals? Yes, really. And we've got the evidence. These are 20 unbelievable animals who adopted other animals. Number 20. Orangutan and Tigers Now where do we begin? Well, how about the story of an orangutan that went and decided that it would mimic some humans by taking care of some animals it usually wouldn't even touch? This occurred in Myrtle Beach Safari in South Carolina. During a typical feeding done by human caretakers, a male orangutan decided it would do the same for a trio of young tiger cubs. But the orangutan services didn't end there. He can be seen embracing the tiny tigers and wrestling with them almost every day, going ape, you might say. Now, you may feel that the tigers would think that their new mentor is only good for the basic things and isn't really the cat's meow, but they really took a liking to the new overseer and were more than happy to play with him, cuddle him, and do many other things. Now, this isn't really the kind of behavior that you would expect from these animals, and it's honestly kind of curious that all it took was an act of mimicry in regards to the orangutan and the humans to form a bond like this. Could you even imagine if other primate species were willing to do the same thing with various other animals? We're not saying it would, because a cataclysmic change across the world would happen, but it would make a really good story. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. We have two cute stories for the price of one for you now. On the left, we see an elephant who protected a lion after he got separated from his family. And on the right, a deer who looked after a tiger after he lost his family in a terrible stampede. In the case of the former, the elephant was able to reunite the lion with his family after a long and arduous trek. And in the case of the deer and the tiger, the deer became a mother-like figure to the tiger, and they've been inseparable ever since. Truly adorable. As always, comment down below using the hashtag sweet topic and let me know what you think in relation to what you just saw on the screen. Number 19. Dog and Monkey now here's a story that will definitely tug at your heartstrings, because you see, another reason that certain animals need to be adopted by atypical pets is because of something that we humans do, such as when the child of a monkey needed a new caretaker after people poisoned its mother. But why? Well, because they were quote unquote protecting their crops. How classy. So who would come to take care of this young monkey? Well, a dog of all things, but not just a dog, a dog that was already pregnant. Just think about that a moment. She already has a lot on her mind in regards to taking care of the pups that are on the way, and yet she was willing to take care of this monkey as well. That's some kind of dedication. A photographer had initially planned to photograph birds when he spotted the dog and the monkey together, saying that the monkey infant seemed to be about 10 days old when locals had poisoned its adult because they said it was destroying their crops. The infant survived and the dog went on to adopt it. He felt that the mother saw a baby who was small and left alone and that there was nobody to take care of it so that maternal instinct would kick in and give the dog the initiative to adopt the small baby even if it was from a different species. This kind of relationship is a lesson for all humans who have become selfish, kill each other just because it's from another caste or religion. Like I said, it's one to tuck at your heartstrings. Number 18. Dog and Lion Cub Here's another one that shows a harsh reality of our world, but not in the way that you'd likely suspect. You see, while it's true that animals give birth to young ones, that doesn't mean that those young ones are accepted by the mother and father. In the case of one lion cub at a zoo in Sri Lanka, that was a reality because not long after being born, its mother would reject it and it wouldn't take care of it. If this was the wild, it would have died either from starvation or being taken as food by a predator. However, since it was a zoo, they had a backup plan, mainly in that they decided to try and find another family to raise and nurture it. 
In this case, they found a mother dog who had just given birth and might have been willing to help out the youngling. At first, the canine mother was hesitant to allow the cub into her inner circle, but after about five or six hours, the dog changed its mind and treated the lion cub as if it were her own pup. She even licked it and loved the lion cub more than her pups, it would seem. Here we have yet another story of an atypical pairing, in this case, dogs and cats, coming together for something truly spectacular. Because to be clear, that mother dog did not have to take in that lion cub, however, However, she did, echoing what was noted by a certain photographer that an animal's maternal instincts take over and it helps the little one in need. And indeed it did. Number 17. Monkey and Dog Now before, I showed you a dog who adopted a monkey that was in need, but now I'm going to flip that around on you. Because in India, a monkey found something that it didn't expect in the streets of the city that it roamed in, a puppy. It could be seen picking up the black and tan dog, carrying it through the streets before stopping as people gathered to watch the unusual sight. And it was indeed unusual, because this monkey was trying to carry around the dog in its arms as if it were its own. Thankfully, people didn't just stop and stare, they gave them attention and food. A small price to pay for the entertainment that was brought to them, right? Just as fascinating, though, was that both pictures and eyewitness accounts would showcase that the monkey had lost no motor function by carrying the dog around. By that, I mean that it could carry the puppy in its front arms and yet still jump around and go up things and move around quickly. The key thing to note here was that when it was still, it would often hunch over the puppy to ensure that no one tried to get close and touch it. So let's ask this question, shall we? Why? Why did the monkey feel that urge, if not the need, to go and protect that little puppy? Was it instinct? Was it compassion? Was it something that was almost natural to do? We'll likely never know, but for now, you can discuss it in the comments below. Number 16. Dalmatian and Lamb Thanks to Disney, when you hear about Dalmatians, you likely think of 101 or even 102 cute and adorable animals that are full of spots and life. And now you think more about the woman that tried to skin them just to make them into fashion. Thanks a lot, Emma Stone. And while it's fair to say that not all Dalmatians are that cool, we do know of one that went above and beyond the dog call to help an animal in need. Because to a certain Dalmatian named Zoe, she found the perfect adopted child in the form of a spotted lamb. That's right, I said a spotted lamb, as its fur will make it all too clear for you why the lamb is being taken in by the dog. It has spots, and it's black and white but mainly because of its spots. Dalmatian Zoe has become fiercely protective of the newly born lamb, seen regularly licking and cleaning her adopted son most affectionately. It is spotted, as its owner explains, and black spots on a white-based coat is the same as a Dalmatian. The mother who doesn't have puppies is actually cleaning it and licking it and mothering it as it tries to bring it up to her udder. So in many ways, this is a match that was made in animal heaven, a dog mother that didn't have puppies, with a lamb that is anything but typical looking. Even Disney couldn't have thought of this one. Of course, they did have a parrot think that it was a retriever in 102 Dalmatians. Number 15. Tiger and Piglets there are certain creatures that you could put together and say, nah, yeah, that'll work in terms of being an odd couple. But if you were to say that you could have a tiger raise some piglets, your immediate reaction would be, isn't that a recipe for someone getting eaten? And yet in Thailand, that's apparently not the case. Because there, it's apparently a thing for tigers to allow young piglets to nurse from them. It is odd, but apparently it really does happen. This, we're told, also leads to a very unique incident that occurred at a zoo in California, where a mother tiger had lost her litter of cubs and was quite literally tricked into adopting a set of piglets. But how did they trick the tiger? Well, they dressed up the piglets in tiger outfits. I am not kidding and can't make this up. They really did that. 
Now, I didn't say it was a good trick, but clearly it did work because the pictures and footage are 100% real and they do indeed show a tiger helping to raise the piglets instead of, you know, eating them. There's a lot to process in this and not surprisingly, there are some who are not amused by it all. There was even some animal activist groups who said that they were doing these kind of things as stunts to gain publicity for the establishment. Which, I mean, you can't deny. This would bring people to the zoo just to see it with their own eyes. I won't argue any animal ethics here, but forced or not, you can't deny that Mother Tiger seems perfectly fine with her new litter of cubs. Number 14. Cats and Squirrels when you hear the phrase cats and rodents, you usually get a picture of a cat eating them and being a good deterrent for having a rodent infestation. Or you think about Tom and Jerry and how that show was way too violent for any modern children audiences. I like that show though. Clearly. Regardless, the idea of a cat going and helping out a rodent outside of cartoons is a bit hard to wrap your head around, and yet that's exactly what happened with Pusha. She's a cat that lived in Crimea and one day found something that the cat definitely didn't plan on four baby squirrels that had been abandoned by their mother. Typically, this would be considered a perfect food scenario for the cat. However, it was not a typical scenario by a long shot. The cat decided to look after them, and Pusha even let the squirrels drink her milk as if they were her own kittens. What's more, the squirrels didn't seem to mind being taken care of by a cat, likely because they didn't care and knew that they needed someone to take care of them in that moment. But even as they grew older, the relationship did not diminish. In fact, there was plenty of proof that the squirrels were more than happy to play with their new mother, and the cat was more than happy to teach them, even providing discipline if they got out of hand. If a predator can become a parent so easily, it makes you wonder why certain other species have trouble accepting each other. Number 13. Dolphins and Whales in contrast to the one I just showed you, there are sometimes creatures that you can totally believe would do things like adopt an animal that isn't their own species because they're well known to be kind and loving, and they tend to get along with others really well. A great example of this is whales. While some are mean, like orcas, at times most get along with other species that don't mean them harm. So when a dolphin was in need, a pack of whales would come to the rescue. Researchers in Germany would be studying the whales when they found the unlikely dolphin swimming with them. Apparently, the deformed dolphin had been rejected by its own kind, and the sperm whales probably felt bad for it. So why exactly was the dolphin abandoned? Well, apparently it had a spinal deformation that made it a bit of a slow swimmer, which in the realm of dolphins is an easy way to get left behind. However, whales aren't always the fastest of creatures, so apparently it was more than capable of staying with them. The irony in all of this, though, is that sperm whales are a bit like orcas in that they're more aggressive and tend to stave off other species, yet when they saw this dolphin, they didn't hesitate to take it in. Sometimes when you see someone in need, you just can't help but help. Number 12. Tortoise and Hippo now, that is a pairing that I definitely need to see up close, because tortoises are slow, heavily protected by their shell, and can live forever. They're also slow, and well, like I said, they're slow. Hippos, meanwhile, are brutal creatures that can rage against the machine and everything else in their path, killing anything in sight. If they wanted to, their jaws could easily snap a tortoise in half. Yet somehow, one adopted the other. And in this case, it was the tortoise that adopted the hippo. What world am I living in? I'll tell you what world. It's one where a coincidence and a disaster collided together. And in this case, the young hippo named Owen would be swept away 
away by a tsunami and thrown onto the shore where it was taken in by a zoo. Then a very old tortoise decided to watch over it. No doubt being separated from its mother after being swept away by a tsunami put a lot of stress and trauma on the young hippo, so it looked for a surrogate mother and found it in the tortoise. These days they swim together, eat together, and even sleep together, and the hippo follows the tortoise exactly the way that it would follow its mother. If somebody approaches the tortoise, the hippo gets aggressive as if it's protecting its biological mother. Number 11. Coco and the Kittens Coco the gorilla is one of the famous ones to ever have lived, but why is that? Well, it's because she had the ability that was remarkable and unique to many animals. She could communicate with humans via sign language. Not American sign language, but a type of gorilla sign language that she was taught and was able to use very well. Now, just imagine her keeper's shock when she signed that she wanted a baby cat. But not to eat, obviously. However, to have and to hold and take care of. So on her 44th birthday, she received exactly that. She would be given a box of the little kittens and told to pick two of them. She did, and one of them would then be named Ali Bali. The gorilla and the cats got along very well, and it was clear that Coco was very happy with her gift. She had a connection with these cats, because eventually Ali Bali died, and when that occurred, Coco cried and mourned the loss of her baby kitten and signed Sleep Cat. Oh, how very touching. However, let's observe this from the overall perspective, shall we? Because this might just be the first case that anyone knows of, of an animal not just asking to have a baby, but asking for a baby from another species. She didn't ask for a baby monkey, she asked for a baby cat. So as it turns out, almost any creature can be a cat lover. However, not me. Cats are psychos. Number 10. Otter and Badger It was a cold and rainy day in March when Pauline Kidner, founder of Secret World Wildlife Rescue located in Somerset in the southwest of England, had a report from Devon of an otter cub that was found near its dead sibling. The person who managed to find it picked it up and wrapped it in a towel because the cub was wet and cold. That person's name? Well, it was Pauline, and she just so happened that she wasn't an otter savior. She was also raising a trio of badgers back at her home. She then realized that they were about the same size, and thus could probably get along with each other. So she put the otter named Torrent next to them to see what would happen. And it just so turns out that Torrent immediately snuggled up with the badger cubs and went right to sleep. A few hours later, they would begin to wake up, and the badger cubs became intrigued by their new friend, including him in their favorite tussling games, biting each other's ears and rumps, and Torrent would quickly get the hang of everything. Of course, being a different species, he didn't just smell different but also vocalized in dissimilar ways, the badgers wickering and the otters squeaking and whistling. Yet Pauline marveled that they all seemed to understand each other. Number 9. Dogs and Piglets Last time I talked about piglets, it was because a tiger was tricked into taking care of them. How about something a bit more loving, shall we? In this case, I'm talking about Treasure, a boxer dog and a mother of piglets. These piglets were brought to her owner's farm in rather poor condition, and the dog then decided to take it upon herself to remedy the situation. Their owners report that the dog is a natural mother and just simply began to take care of the piglets. And she does it for fun apparently. When the piglets began suckling, she went straight into milk production, and then one day the piglets escaped, and she went after them, acting just like a mother. It's a nice twist on a story that Treasure herself was a stray that the owner took in, so perhaps she just wanted to pay that kindness forward to those who needed it in this situation. Number 8. Peacock and Goose Birds of a feather, they flock together. That's how the saying goes, right? But what happens when it's two birds that have different feathers, bills, environments, and everything else? Can they still stick together? Well, in the case of a peacock and a goose, apparently they can. Albeit, it almost had a very different ending, because at first a woman named Caroline Hulse was given two goose eggs to eat. The woman who runs a farm commented that at first it was kind of a joke that some friends would 
suggest that she give the eggs to her guests as breakfast because they make very good scrambled eggs. But instead, she just put them under Valentine and they hatched and a very tiny yellow thing came out. Oh, and if you're wondering, Valentine is her female peacock. And once the goose came out, the peacock took very good care of it. Valentine took to the little gosling, and she walks around showing it what to eat and putting it to bed at night. She's never had that happen before on the farm, and really neither have I. Number 7. Hen and Puppies Here's another tale that happened on the farm, and it's just as odd as some of the others that you've heard about. You see, a mother dog gave birth to a litter of puppies and lost interest. According to the farmer, she just left them there and didn't seem to care what actually happened to them. Thankfully for those puppies, though, a certain someone else was up for mothering. And who would that be? Well, that would be Mabel, the family hen, who was so up for being their mother that she almost immediately went to where the puppies were, laid on them to give them warmth, and then took care of them like a true mother would. But why Mabel felt the need to take care of those puppies? Well, it's possible that she saw their mother abandon them and just felt the urge to protect them, or something else might have compelled it. Either way, the puppies ended up better off in the long run. Number six. Dog and Owl Now here's a story that you'll think is a real hoot. <laughs> this is the tale of Poldy the Owlet, who sadly was born two days after all the others in its nest, and was very small by comparison. Usually this would mean it would be abandoned and left to die, however someone was going to come around and help out. That would be Ingo the Belgian Malinois, a rather large dog that wouldn't just be his protector, but also his best friend. To that extent, the two have a bond that defies logic, and yet it's perfect for social media, as the owner goes and chronicles every adventure that they take together, and you really can't help but go Aww, when you see how cozy they are with each other. All because a dog felt bad for a little bird and wanted to help it in the only way that it could. Isn't that the true meaning of love and friendship? I know it is for me and my pet guinea pig Twinkle. I just can't get enough of that girl. Number 5. Cat and Hedgehogs and now I have a very odd mix for you. In Russia, there's a tale of two very different species that's sure to grab your attention. Eight orphaned hedgehogs survived against all odds at a zoo in Russia after a kindly cat became their surrogate mother. Muska the cat adopted the spiky brood after their mother died in a lawn mowing accident. The zoo at first tried to feed them via man-made ways like bottles and syringes and such, but the little hedgehog hedgehogs refused everything and wanted a true mother's milk. Enter Muska, who had previously been a mother to kittens and had the ability to help out, and so the pairing would be made and it actually worked. The hedgehogs immediately began to nurse from Muska, and thus their health began to improve despite their help coming from a surrogate mother. Once again enforcing the fact that some animals really do want to help one another, we just need to give them the ability to go and do so. Number 4. Crow, Dog, and Cat what if I told you that a crow was the main caretaker to its siblings, which happened to be a dog and a cat? Well, then prepare to meet Cha-Cha. Cha-Cha began feeding the dog Sky and the cat Kitten and was so sweet to watch that it's one of many video clips that have been taken of the crow doing just that. The white-winged crow is not a domestic pet, though. They picked it up injured on a road a couple of months prior and nursed it back into good health. The crow can't fly because of wing damage. However, it has adopted both the owners and their pets as family and never leaves their side. It's very affectionate but also very bossy, taking an attitude around with it if anyone tries to take something off of it. It's probably also why it's so sweet to witness the crow sharing its food. Is it odd? Yes. But is it cool? Oh yes. Number 3. Goose and Puppies 
Now this one is a very unique story because it's not so much about adoption, but rather about being the second parent. In one dog owner's home, they have a Samoyed, and eventually she gave birth to puppies. Thankfully, the mother was more than willing to take care of the puppies, but if she needed help, all she had to do was turn to her resident goose ally. Yes, this family also had a goose in their home for some reason, and it took up the role of a second parent, helping out the dog whenever it was needed, and would even play with the puppies when the time arose. At one point, you can even see the goose looking at the cage in such a way that makes it seem like the fowl is actually counting the puppies to make sure they're all there. How this even came to be, no one really knows, but it's surely a beautiful thing to watch. Number 2 chimpanzee and tiger cubs. I'll start out with some monkey business. How about another tale of it to help lead things to the end? Meet Anya, a chimpanzee who decided to adopt a pair of needy white tiger cubs that had been separated from their mother. Mitra and Shiva were born during a hurricane, and during that time, everything had flooded the sanctuary that they were in, and they had to be moved into the house as their mother became stressed. It was important for the safety of the cubs that they were separated. So that's when the young cubs would need a new mother, and while their human caretaker was able to help with that, so too did a chimp named Anya, to the extent that the tiger cubs soon began to see both as their true mothers. It's a wonder that it all worked out the way that it did, but everyone should be grateful in the end. Number 1. Dogs and Kittens Finally, I'll talk about the eternal rivalry that may not be as combative as everyone imagines it to be. Mary is a beagle mix of a dog, and she had already been a mother to her own litter of puppies, but while she was at an animal shelter, the place got a new delivery in the form of some kittens. Not missing a beat, Mary stepped up and decided to play mother to those cats as well. Even to the extent that a woman at the animal shelter would take a few of the kittens away, and the mother absolutely freaked out. When brought back, she calmed down and got happy again. It defies all explanation that a dog would want to take care of some new kittens, but perhaps more than rivalry is the need to help those who can't help themselves. Dogs actually like kittens. The cat's out of the bag now. Are you surprised by some of the pairings that you saw here today? Which ones made you feel the most inspired? And which were just too adorable for words? Do you know of another animal that's adopted outside of its kind? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Also, be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.